Welcome to our YouTube video on how to repair SQ of database 2019 easily. You're here because you're experiencing some database corruption issues, and you're seeking an easy and effective solution. First and foremost, why do we need to repair SQL databases? It's because of reasons such as forgetting the login credentials and entering the wrong password multiple times, or maybe you have accidentally removed some important files from the directories or infected by a virus or malware that corrupted the database files. Also, if your hard drive is damaged, that could also lead to database corruption. Now let's discuss the solutions to repair them. The first solution that we recommend is to recover your database from the backup file. In particular, if you take regular database backups, this is a fantastic solution. Start the SQL Server Management Studio by typing its name in the search bar and click Open option. Once the application is open, then connect with the instance of the SQL Server. Then, in Object Explorer, expand the Databases folder and choose the faulty database. Right-click and go to Tasks, then Restore and Database option. As you have taken the backup of the database earlier, so its name will appear in the database list. Once you choose the database, then its backup file will appear with complete path. Click OK. Finally, the message will appear that the database has been restored successfully. The second way is using the commands on your screen. These commands check the index ID, and if it is greater than 1, then drop and recreate it. If the index is 0 or 1, you can run this command with some repair options such as repair allow data loss, repair fast, and repair rebuild, which can help fix the issue. Thirdly, if your database is still unable to get fixed, Another solution is to recreate the .mdf and .ndf files. To do this, stop MS SQL Server services, copy the MDF and NDF files and paste them in a different location. Then, delete the original files and create a new database instance. Overwrite the pasted files into the new database. Enable your server's emergency mode and enter this command, followed by database name, repair allowed data loss, with no info msgs. Lastly, if none of the solutions mentioned above work, you can use kernel for SQL database recovery. In addition to repairing corrupt SQL databases, this tool also recovers database objects like tables, views, triggers, rules, stored procedures, and functions. We hope this tutorial helps you fix your database corruption issues. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Go ahead, try out these procedures, and get your SQL server database running smoothly again. For more info on the tool, check out the link given below in the description. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So you will never miss any update on newly uploaded videos.